Good morning, Kurt with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to show you how to edit and make a slideshow with pictures, photos, whatever you want using iMovie. Really, this app is awesome. You can do it all on your iPhone. It's my favorite app for editing videos on a phone. And um, the only reason not to use it is if you have an Android. But I have other videos about how to how to do the same thing with Androids. But iMovie is awesome. This video is going to show you how to make a slideshow quick, simple, easy. But you can do so much more than just make a slideshow with this app. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you get all the great content that we put out on Teach Mom How. Again, our goal is to teach you everything you need to know in a way that it's so simple that even my mom can do it. All right. This is the part of the video where we go through and we um, show you three or four different apps that you can use to edit your video with photos and music on your phone using an iPhone. If you're using an Android, you'll want to go down into the description and you'll want to skip ahead to the portion on making this video on an Android. But here's where we're at. So if you go down to the description, you'll see chapters similar to this. And you're in the section on how to make a video with photos and music using a mobile device and then you chose that you have an Apple or an iPhone that should say iPhone and now we're gonna show you four different ways to do it on an iPhone we're gonna show you the iMovie way the Adobe Rush way the Google Photos way I don't know why you can't see that but number three is Google Photos and number four is the Photos app right on the iPhone okay if you're on an Android you're gonna to wanna to skip ahead Oh, right here, Google Photos and Photos app, okay? If you're on Android, you're gonna to wanna to skip ahead to the Android section where I'll show you how to do it on Adobe Rush and Google Photos, okay? You can do it on both of those using an Android phone. So let's get started with iMovie. iMovie is um, my favorite editing software for a phone. And I'm gonna show you how to make a basically a picture video slideshow with music using iMovie on your on your phone. If you watched the portion of this video where I showed you how to do a video in iMovie on your computer, it's gonna be very similar, but on a phone. So it's a little bit more simple and uh, harder to do more fancy stuff, but it works for what we're doing. So okay, so open up iMovie. You can download this for free if you have an iPhone. Unless you have a really old iPhone, you might not be able to. Once you're in iMovie, you're going to start a new project. And you can do either a movie or a trailer. A trailer is going to be like a template that you can just throw stuff in and they kind of like already have it looking kind of snazzy. Um, but I'm going to do uh, just a regular movie for this example. Now you need to go through and you need to choose what photos you want to put into this movie photos and or videos so you got to just scroll through your photos and find the ones you want to use so let's use this like scary picture of my daughter let's use this uh, picture of me and my wife on a date for her birthday my youngest two to my kids birthday cake birthday party my kid's wrestling. <laughs> What's so funny about that? You said it wrong. <laughs> it's called wrestling. All right. It's called wrestling. It's called wrestling. Okay. <laughs> All right. So then we're going to go find some more. What else do we want in here? Okay, that's enough. You get the idea. You choose everything that you want to be in your video. Okay. And you click create movie. You can always add more later. Create movie. It's downloading them from iCloud because it um, stores them on iCloud for me. Now it automatically throws these into my video, which makes it really easy, actually faster to do than doing it on the computer. And now I can push play and watch it, see if I like it. 
I can delete any pictures if I decide I don't want them. It's putting these pictures in for a really long time. If I don't want them in as long, I can click on them and I can drag one end of it. Sorry. Now it's 4.7 seconds. Not quite as long. Four seconds. Okay, there by default, four seconds. That works. So I can go through and, and watch these. I can adjust them if I want to. This effect that it does automatically is called the Ken Burns effect. It's the, the motion that they give to the pictures. If I click on a picture and want to edit it, make it zoom differently, I can click on Ken's Ken Burns effect and disable it. I just did disable it, so click on it and turn it back on. This little arrow puts me on the start position, and now I pinch with my fingers to change the start position. So maybe I want to start more zoomed in on his face. And then I go to the end position, and again, I can pinch with my fingers and choose where I want it to end. Now I just adjusted it. That's how you customize these pans and zooms and the, the Ken Burns effect, this motion that you give to the pictures. This used to take me hours when I started making wedding videos in college. It used to take me hours to add this motion to people's pictures. And now it does it by, because I had to go one by one and set keyframes. Now it does it automatically. It's amazing. All right, so this one here, let's flip this, okay? Because it is, um, it's uh, like sideways. Um, can I flip it? That's the question. Let's see. I don't know if I can. Don't think I can. All right, here's the here's the video of us singing to him for his birthday, and you would hear this audio if it was if I wasn't recording this on my phone. But since I'm recording it to my computer, it mutes the audio. Some wrestling. Okay, we're pretty much ready to go. You can watch it all the way through. You can adjust things as you see fit and let's suppose you decide you want to add a couple more pictures to it you just click this plus button and go to your photos by either moments video photos or albums okay let's add this one let's add this one Add it. And there you go. I added another video. Okay. So I'm going to call that good. Now let's add some music to this, okay? Add some music to our video. I click this plus button. Go back. And I'm going to find audio. Okay. Under audio, I can find soundtracks. These are royalty free music that iMovie gives you. For free and so if you want to use royalty free music this is awesome you can go find something that sounds good and you can choose it I'm not gonna spend a lot of time um, choosing a song because I can't even hear it right now the way I'm recording this but I'm gonna go ahead and add this one to it all right so that's how you would do a royalty free song now you need to scroll and see if that covers the whole length of your of your video and it does okay now everybody is gonna ask someone's gonna ask in the comments what if I want to use one of my songs on my phone? Here's how you do that. Now, it has to be a song on your phone. This will not work if it's just from your streaming service. You have to actually have an MP3 downloaded on your iPhone and in one of your playlists or albums, okay? And so if I go to my playlists or if I go to my, um, well, I'll show you an example. This one here. These are all, this is a streaming playlist from Apple Music, so that's not going to work, okay? Um, purchase music is stuff I've downloaded actually to my phone. That stuff will work, all right? Um, but this in the cloud, so i got to download that one. I'll go where I know one's at. Okay, right here, at the game. This is a song I downloaded and put on my phone. If you need help downloading uh, music 
and things, go to my description and go back to uh, the section where I explain how the different ways to download music. It's towards the, the start of this video. Um, or click the link to learn how to do that. Or, But um, the bottom line is if you want to use one of your songs, a copyrighted song that you have on your phone, you've got to get it onto your phone into your music app. And it cannot be from a streaming site like Apple Music or from... Spotify or it will not work. You gotta actually purchase and download it or rip it off of a CD and throw it in there or download it some other way that I'll let you figure out. Okay, so I've added that song in there. Let's just make sure that it goes all the way to the end and it does. All right, we are ready. I believe one bad thing about iMovie on the app is it only lets you put one song in. I think let's check yep it swapped it out where if you're using iMovie on a on a computer you can put however many songs you want in. so it's just gonna play this song over and over till the movie ends all right we're ready to go okay now I click done and I edit this here sorry I don't need to edit it I need to just change the name of it we'll call this our test We'll call this our test video. And um, we're going to share it by clicking this share button, the one with the arrows, the arrow pointing up at the bottom. That's the one you're going to click on. And you're going to click save video. That's going to put a copy of this on our device. And then once it's on our device, we can upload this to the site of our choice. I'll show you how to upload it to um, YouTube and how to upload it to Facebook, and you can figure out how to upload it other places. Okay, it finished exporting my video. Now if I flip over to my Photos app, <clears throat> go to my Photos app, go to All Photos, and down at the bottom you'll see this three-minute video. That's the slideshow that I just made. Again, there is music on it. You're just not hearing it because when I hook my camera up to record this or I hook my phone up to record this it, it mutes the audio so there you have it that's the video now let's put this video onto Facebook and YouTube so I'm gonna click this share button right here I'm gonna go to Facebook I'm gonna choose whether I want it to be public or private in this case I'm gonna put only me just because I don't want anyone to see this this is just for to show you guys how to do this you would want this to be at least where your friends can see it I would guess um, write whatever you want to write about it. Click next and share it. All right, I'm now uploading that to Facebook. As soon as it finishes, it'll process and then you'll be able to watch it on Facebook. All right, this is how you'll upload your video that you just made to YouTube. In this case, you're going to have to go to the YouTube app on your phone. Hopefully, I have it on my phone. You're going to need to log in as whichever user you want to be logged in as. And that'll work. Okay. Then you're going to click this little camera top right. Click the camera and choose upload video. Allow access to all your photos. Click OK. Okay. And find the slideshow we just made. You could trim it and edit it if you wanted to, but I'm going to put the whole thing up. Click Next. And name it what you want to do it. Add a description that's relevant. Decide if you want it public, private, or unlisted. Comment below if you have questions about what those mean. And add it to a playlist if you choose to. Then you click Next. No, it's not for kids. Not that it's, this doesn't mean it's not for kids. This doesn't mean that it's like NC-17 or inappropriate. This just means I didn't make it specifically for kids. Click up and now it's gonna upload my video. All right.
Just let it go and see what happens. All right, that's it. That's how you upload your video to YouTube. Now, 